If there's one feature we should expect from a smartphone with an OLED screen, it's an always-on display. Android phones have had this feature for many years now, but Apple for some reason has not enabled this feature on the iPhones, even though they have shifted to OLED many years ago. The always-on display is a major passive productivity booster, letting a person check the time their battery percentage, weather, calendar events, and pending notifications at a glance. And the fact that it has been on Android for years and its continued absence on the iPhone is baffling. But it looks like that is finally about to change with the new iPhone 14 Pro lineup. You see last year with the iPhone 13 Pro, Apple finally shifted to LTPO OLED panels. But it wasn't a true LTPO technology because the display was limited to dialing screen refresh rates between 10Hz and 120Hz. A true LTPO panel can go all the way down to 1Hz when viewing a static image or when the device is inactive, something the Galaxy S22 Ultra offers. Now it seems Apple will also adopt the same display technology on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Ross Young the display analyst expects the iPhone 14 Pro variants to be capable of dropping the screen refresh rate to as low as 1Hz thereby paving the way for always-on display functionality and at the same time providing a longer battery life. By the way Apple Watch Series 5 and later already have the always-on functionality, which lets you show the time and other information at all times. So don't be surprised if we see the same on the iPhone 14 Pro lineup. Now speaking of the 14 Pro we have our very best and most accurate look at the iPhone 14 Pro so far courtesy of John Prosser. The pill shape cutout looks big by 2022 standards, and it's laughable when compared to say the S22 Ultra. Also it sits below the notch which means it doesn't look like you'll be gaining much in the way of usable space. But Apple desperately needed a design change after using the notch for many years, and unfortunately this is the best they can do unless they hide those sensors underneath, which by the way will happen next year with the iPhone 15 Pro where the Face ID sensors will be embedded under the display with only a hole for the front-facing camera. Anyway, the rear camera module also looks significantly bigger too, and the reason for that is a bigger 48MP sensor. The charging port is still lightning, but Apple will shift to USB-C next year. Also, Apple is using a new and improved front-facing camera, and ET News reports that the unit price of this front camera is nearly three times more compared to previous models. This and coupled with other upgrades along with inflation, Apple has decided to increase the price by $100 for each iPhone 14 variant. Do consider subscribing for all the latest updates on this handset, and as always I'll see you tomorrow, peace out.